All right, we are so excited today because we're getting to do our second edition of, of a series that we call RVing for Vets. And we did our first one a couple of months ago. And because of you watching our videos and joining us on Patreon and buying Wax Wag in the store and using the Amazon affiliate link yeah. to make some purchases, we've got enough money now to make another donation to another veteran organization. So we are here in Ponca City, Oklahoma with Bud from <laughs> Veterans Landing. Yeah. So um, before we get to the donation part, which we're super excited about, I can hardly contain myself, <laughs> but um, we want to know a little bit more about Veterans Landing, kind of how it started and the motivation behind okay. what got it going. Well, one of the things I was, um, I work for the state of Oklahoma as an employment representative, and uh, I was uh, working with this young man. And, and after we were done, in the state when they hired me, they said, you know, you got to get them in, get them out. Yeah. Men of the best. Yeah. Time and money. Uh, yeah, exactly. And so I was like, got to help the next person. Got to help the next person. And uh, anyway, he just kind of, and he had on uh, green uh, shorts, nylon shorts, uh, old blue uh, tank top, wow. you know, a Ford hat. And uh, he just kind of dropped his head, grabbed his paperwork, and left. Well, three days later, he took his life. Oh, and man. and that it just hit me hard. Um, and, and I kept talking to my wife. I said, there's got to be something we can do. Yeah, there's sure. got to be something. And uh, through um, uh, trials, relations, working, trying to go down this avenue, trying to start this, um, we we finally come up with the, the vision and the concept of uh, the Veterans Landing. And so in uh, June of uh, 2017, our dream become reality. Okay. And uh, we've been very blessed with um, uh, donations and stuff. It just mm -hmm. seems like that uh, when we first operated, started operating, it was uh, supported by Bud and Beck. Uh, pocket mm -hmm. books, because... <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> That's how that's how most of these things start. It is. Yeah, I mean, we get excited with you know we get a donation of twenty five, fifty dollars or something, and, and uh, it was just so exciting and, and yeah. everything. So, um, but then we got a large cash donation from USI. Uh, you know, I can't say awesome. enough. And I'm not talking about USI here in uh, Ponca City. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm talking about the worldwide USI Corporation wow. chose the Veterans Landing to give to. Then you know that whole company is is first class and and. Uh, uh, we couldn't have, we, we wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for them. Wow. That's outstanding. So, well, that's a great story on how it, how it got started. What uh, What's the story behind the name? Well, of course, veterans, you know, we wanted to include sure, that. Yeah. But the landing, you know, it was just something that we wanted to take and, and have to where a person could come in and, and get assistance. Exactly. Now, if you notice on our um, uh, symbol, mm -hmm. our veterans living on symbol, yeah. there's the compass. Uh -huh. Okay. And that's what we wanted to do is be able to provide direction. And so that's one of the things that, uh, you know, we, we started on. And um, uh, like I said, we just thought all kinds of names uh, mm -hmm. thrown out there. And Veterans Landing is just the one that pretty much, you know, talked to us. Yeah. And so that's what we went with. That's awesome. So. That is great. Um, now, we did a little tour of the facility. But kind of walk us through a day in the life of Veterans Landing. What, what do vets come in here expecting from Veterans Landing? Well, um, they can each one of them expect something a little bit a different. different. Yeah. Um, I can guarantee this: we'll have hot coffee for them. Uh, we'll have a soda pop for them or water. Um, if they're hungry, we'll provide them with a, a sandwich. 
usually my wife, she'll take and fix something, like on the weekends. You know, not only do we, we help with veterans, you know, with like uh, utilities and stuff, you mm -hmm. know, we help homeless veterans. Yeah. Um, we assist them to get an engine, not just a temporary housing. We strive to make sure that they're in permanent housing. Exactly, yeah. Um, not just toss them sleeping bag. Right, yeah. right. Um, Say good luck. <laughs> Uh, yeah. We have an, an organization, SSVF, uh, um, called Barracks for Vets that we work with in Tulsa. Oh, wow. They are phenomenal. Um, I can't say enough about Ronaldo Talent. She is, uh, we lean on her so hard, and uh, she comes through us for so much. Um, you know, and she cares as much about these veterans as we do. Uh, we may help them with their benefits. Yeah. Uh, and a, a lot, lot of veterans need that because yeah. they don't know what they, don't they even are entitled to. Exactly. Yeah. We have uh, we work with the Oklahoma Department of Veterans Administration, no DVA, okay, uh, on the benefit or like services, like if they're mm -hmm. filing for their disability, okay. Yeah. Um, so we'll send them that away, and they'll get their disability and stuff. If they need to enroll for health care, we can do that here. Oh, good. Um, we have a lot of veterans that come in. So I don't even have a DD form two fourteen. Oh wow! Really? Oh yeah. They wow. just don't have a copy anymore. No, yet. they've lost it, yeah. or you know, wow. don't remember getting it, or whatever. So we can we we uh, work with the National Archives, and we can order those. Now, tell us a little bit about your staff because you're still working a full time job. Yes. Mm -hmm. Your 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 wife comes and helps here. You have other volunteers that come help here. You and you're you're going uh, completely off of donations. Mm -hmm. Yes, That's, um, we're solely supported. Nobody receives uh, no funding, no pay, or anything. It's it's um, everything's. Hurts. All of our time is donated. Uh, yes, my wife Rebecca, she's um, she's basically the heart and soul. Of this. Yeah, she um, uh, you know every Tuesday and every Wednesday or every Thursday. I'm sorry, um, you know she's she's down. Got to be in here. Got to open at eleven o'clock. You know. Yeah. yeah. And uh, and because she knows. I mean, these veterans yeah. they know her. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, they know that they can come and they can get uh, coffee. Uh, they'll get a snack or they'll get a lunch or they may need to be drove to a, a location or something and she'll make sure. Uh, yeah, she, and, uh, she was sharing with us at the, after the parade, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, help get to appointments if yeah, necessary. Yeah, you know, I mean, and that's another thing that we help with. Yeah. You know, some of these veterans are, are uh, you know, have no transportation. Yeah. Uh, so we, we got to tour the place. So tell us what's, what's coming in the future for Veterans Landing. The future. We saw some of the rooms back there. Yes. They're still being worked on. So, what are we looking at for the future? Well, we wouldn't our our next room there. I dubbed it the Chow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if everybody else agrees <laughs> with it, but um, the, the Chow. That's where we're going to be able to like have meals and and stuff. And then get the back is where we're going to you know about do meal prep and mm -hmm. and have the kitchen and stuff. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. Eventually, like I said, we're our goal is set that we want to be open six days a week. Yeah. Uh, and we want to provide uh, for the veteran and the veteran's family. So it's not, yeah, when, when I keep saying this is open for veterans, but it's just families not, too. Yeah. yeah. I, love that. I love that it's not focused yeah. on just the one right. yeah. person. Exactly. Yeah. That's outstanding, especially for a small, uh, close knit community like this um, to have a place for veterans to go. Because there are a lot of towns this small and sometimes, sometimes even a little bit bigger mm -hmm. who don't have a place for veterans to go. And you have veterans out there, like you said, who, who don't know what their benefit options are. Mm -hmm. They don't have a place to go. They don't have a place to talk. And just to have a place to go. And we were walking through the back there and, you know, saying, I can just envision like a Thanksgiving dinner type atmosphere back yeah. here where veterans mm -hmm. are just sitting around the table. Camaraderie. Talking about old war stories yeah. and old old first sergeants and things to have or sergeant mm -hmm. major and, and t telling about how bad they had it, you know, wherever they who had, had it, it worse. you know, because there was always the competition of who had it worse. But those are just the fun times and it takes their mind off of whatever they got going on right. in their life yeah. at the time. And a lot of time, that's what you need. You just need that little bit of an escape time yeah. from whatever you're trapped in, in your mind, to it's talk to some other vets. And that's, you know, probably the best cure that we have, or best medication, I'm sorry, yeah. is uh, yeah. for veterans to come up here and to be able to, just to talk. Exactly. Yeah. So, uh, the last thing I want to talk about is, how can we help? How, if somebody's watching you here today, they want to help you guys directly, how can they get in touch? What do you guys need? How can they help and how can they reach you? Well, our address, where we're physically located, is 111 North 4th, Ponca City, Oklahoma. Uh, if they want to call us, we've got several different phone numbers 
anything you can do will help. So uh, if uh, if one of our viewers makes a contribution and sends you a check today, what's it going toward? It'll provide transportation because believe it or not, this transportation is not free. It'll go at assisting uh, food because we have uh, uh, veteran families that just may not be able to make it to the end of the month. Yeah. yeah. So we can we can provide a little bit of that you know meals uh, and stuff because we usually go by pick, or like the other day. Uh, family went and picked up $75 worth of food and my wife can take $75 and turn it into like $300. Oh, yeah. 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 She can make, I don't know how she <laughs> buys this stuff. Sometimes they may need a gas card to get back and forth to work. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so it provides that. Um, wow. Uh, so it's just a variety of things. We, we All the money that we get goes to our veterans. Anything that we do is, is concerned to our veterans. That's, That's awesome. awesome. So if you want to help out Veterans Landing, we will leave all the information that you need to make a donation down in the description of this video. And we thank you for watching because just watching is free and it helps us help veterans. And we're gonna make a contribution today to Veterans Landing. And we're just getting started with this. Like I said, well, this is our second donation ever. And so we're just getting started. So we need you to keep watching and helping us to help veterans. But today we want to, um, to give you guys a check for, uh, for $350. Oh, outstanding. And wait, we said $75 will, will do what now? Oh, it'll provide everything. It'll provide transportation. <laughs> it can take and turn yeah. 75 into $300 worth of food. See, there you go. Uh, His wife can turn I mean, $75 yes. into $300 I mean. worth of food. So, <laughs> so we're going to feed some vets, and we're going to get some vets to some appointments. Yes, and, uh, absolutely. Man, it is, it is so exciting to, to come to places like this and to be on the road full time and visit yeah. veteran organizations and see people that are just helping vets, yeah. just out of yeah. the kindness of your heart. And it, it it's it's unfortunate, the story that you told us mm -hmm. earlier, yeah. but think about how much that's helping now. That, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, a, it's, a, it's an unfortunate it's circumstance, yes. but what it triggered is amazing. Yeah. Because now realized. all these veterans who, are, who get to come here and, and, and talk to each other, and get to their appointments, and get fed, and get some coffee, and it's just amazing. I, I, I it's hard yeah. for me to put into words <laughs> how how yeah. excited I am to be able to to be even in the presence of people like like <laughs> all of you. You guys yeah. can't see all these people over here. There's a bunch <laughs> of volunteers over here who are just um, sitting here hanging out, you know, for the interview. Mm -hmm. And thank all of you for everything that you yeah. do so in helping you. veterans. You guys are so awesome. We want to take and present you oh, wow. with one of our uh, Veterans Landing hats. Awesome. And I mean, you can see, oh. see right there, it's yeah. got our symbol on it and I'm stuff. Putting it so, right now. Um, <laughs> got to it in. I'm putting it on it. That's awesome. we, we thank you all that. And you're, you're now part of the team. Yeah. That's cool. <laughs> Veterans Landing. There you go. Okay. We'll, we'll, like we said, we'll put everything in the description that you need yes. to know. But these, this, these folks are doing great things for the community. We can't wait to find the next place to donate some more money to veterans in need. And, um, and I can't wait for our next trip back. To yeah, the area. we come back we through. Come by yes. I can't wait to see come. How it's changed. Have a meal with you guys. Yes. Hang out back here. You know, hang out and meet some of the veterans. Talk yeah. to them. And we hope that uh, that this this small contribution that we make is gonna help help some veterans. Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And um, like we do at the end of all of our videos, mm -hmm. we're gonna honor a fallen hero. So stick around for that. And we thank you for watching. And thank you so much for all the support, so that we can do things like this. You guys are awesome, and we will see you next time. Bye.